Welcome back to Test Drive. Over the years, there have been a lot of great movie car chase scenes. And not surprisingly, a lot of them have starred the Dodge Challenger. Movies like The Vanishing Point and Gone in 60 Seconds. This location has also seen its share of Hollywood blockbusters. Movies like Terminator 2, Mission Impossible 3, and Black Rain were filmed here at the California Steel Yards in Fontana, California. Our next guest is also no stranger to the bright lights of Hollywood, fast cars, and fast bikes. He was one of the founders of the freestyle motocross movement and perhaps that sport's first icon. Gary Hart, welcome to Test Drive. How are you? Thanks for having me. Brought you to a nice place. It's pretty awesome here. It's, uh, it's definitely that cyborg feel. Pretty wild. Now, you've had quite a life. You've done a little bit of everything. You're only 36 years old. When you were starting out racing dirt bikes when you were six, seven years old, did you ever envision this? I had no idea. I mean, I, I thought I was always going to be just that racer chasing the dream. And uh, yeah, my, my life's evolved a lot. And, you know, I've gone from dirt bikes to, you know, more so fun stuff, doing off-road truck racing and short course racing and a little bit of asphalt stuff. I love it, man. I love anything with a motor and wheels. So uh, <laughs> if it's got those two things, I'm in. Were you the first person to try a backflip in competition? I, I was, yeah. Uh, back in 2001 at uh, Gravity Games, I was the first one that went for it. And, and the second one that went for it. I was young, I bounced. I'm not, I don't bounce a lot no more. Better you than me. <laughs> now, you're also a, a new dad. Uh, what's more extreme, uh, being alone with a, a one year old or uh, trying to backflip? Well, I would definitely have to say the backflip. I mean, I own a supercross team, so I babysit all day long. So babysitting one kid versus, you know, 20 adults isn't too bad. Well, we're at a steel yard where they film chase scenes. Uh, what do you say we go uh, try to find some mischief? I'm in. Have a preference on color? I'll take the yellow. At least I'll look like I'm going fast. <laughs> <laughs> yellow jacket, 392. Let's do it. All right. You ready to do this? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Hard outside of turn one. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> that shot out the back with the dust and that Challenger drifting through there looked straight out the back window in a chase scene. Ah, oh, awesome. I gotta ask you, you've broken 80 some bones, but you're still jumping. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely something that's in my blood. You know, I gotta be in some sort of a driver's seat, handlebars in hand, something. You know, it's just in me. Like, I'm not just gonna go sit on the couch. And I love to ride. Oh, uh, it's so ironic. I'm sure you get the same thing. All the stuff I used to get in trouble for when I was young, I get paid for now. Yeah, isn't it great? <laughs> it's, it's outstanding. Now, SRT is uh, street and race technology, and it's sort of the performance division of, the, of Chrysler. What they're trying to do is, you know, tap into the heritage of the past, but in a modern way. But they don't, they're not just going to flood the market. I think all of them are still going to be limited edition. So, like that, the yellow jacket car, they're going to make a certain amount, and that'll be it. I mean, that's the way it should be. I mean, if you're going to invest in a car like this, I mean, you're investing in performance. And it, it would be a, a huge disappointment if you saw one, you know, if you pass by four or five on your way to work every morning. So I guess guys in their cars is kind of like girls in the dress. They don't want to show up at the party with the girl in the same dress, right? Exactly, you know, and, and I'm kind of like girls with shoes. I, I like to have a different car for each day of the week, so uh, I think I might have to get one of these bad boys. This is like a steel-toed boot. <laughs> yeah, it is. I got a nice heavy foot for it, so I'm good. It's such a trip. I mean, the, this plant was built in the middle of World War II, far enough from the coast that they couldn't, the bombers couldn't get here because this was shortly after Pearl Harbor. Look at the size of that building. That thing is amazing. Yeah, you just see these, these towers here, the rusted towers, and those shot out windows, crumbling brick walls. It's just like apocalyptic. Yeah, I feel like I'm straight out of Mad Max driving around. You think we can get inside where those train tracks are at? I think we're probably not supposed to, but I'm guessing you don't always follow the rules, true? Never, never. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Nasty. I can hear your exhaust I know. by your feet. I can hear your car lighting up in front of mine. <laughs> uh, this is awesome. 
awesome. It's pretty cool that in this day and age you can buy a full done hot rod. I mean, to, to have a car like this in the past, you used to have to buy, you know, buy a stalker and rebuild it and put blood, sweat, and tears into it. And I mean, these things. You buy it off the showroom floor and you can go out and tear up the streets. Hey, isn't that the truth? I mean, this is 470 horsepower, runs a mid 12 second quarter stock on pump gas. That's awesome. If I had one of these, I think I would just romp it all the time. What do you think of the styling? It's got that aggressive front end on it. I mean, I, I like the kind of scooped out hood look. They definitely got the lines right. It just brings back everything that Hot Rod's all about. It's so cool the way the car's built because, I mean, from my rear view mirror per perception, I can actually see the side, the back fenders out the back of the car. I mean, it's how the lines work on the thing. It's just so aggressive and so meaty. Maybe it's got some hips. It does, man. Every, every Hot Rod should have some hips. Now, now, 392 has unbelievable history. 392 is 390 cubic inch, which is a 6.4 liter. And it was introduced in 1957, in 1958, and then it went away, but where it really made its name, all the dragsters through the 60s and 70s were all Hemis, and they were all 392s. I mean, it's a proven power plant. I mean, you can't go wrong, and it's, it's great that they brought it back around. It's a big gamble, it's a big risk to try to recreate something that was so, you know, monumental, and, and they did it. Don Garland's, uh, you know, I think first guy over 200 miles an hour uh, with his Swamp Rat. It wasn't just drag race, then they went to Bonneville, but back then it was all straight line, straight line. Those cars didn't stop or turn worth, worth a darn. That's a whole different deal now. And they've got the, the Brembo brakes, big 20 inch wheels and tires, and uh, you know, good, good, nice responsive uh, tuned suspension. Well, I can tell you these things turn now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, it's kind of scary, all that power back in the day. Nobody thought about how are we going to stop it, how are we going to turn it. I'm sure there were a lot that ended up in the ditch back in the day. You know, <laughs> kids just, woo! <laughs> the creature comforts, I mean, this interior is covered in leather. It's got these beautiful, really deep dish seats. Across the board, people don't want to compromise. They want a fast car. They want it to stop. They want it to turn. They want it to be luxurious. They want it to have all the electronics, stereo, et cetera. I mean, that's it. I mean, you, you, I mean, even nowadays, like when you redo a hot rod, I mean, unless you're looking to do something rat rod style, you're redoing it in nice leather and electronic gauges. I mean, that's, that's the whole idea is to be able to, you know, bring the past back, you know, up to present. And I'm pretty sure there's probably some rat rods with like hidden air conditioners and, uh, <laughs> yeah. and stuff like that. I can tell you what, I mean, you know how it is, especially too, like the wife, the wife can appreciate horsepower, but she wants to be comfortable too. Amen. Thank God for women. I can blame it on her why I want a nice interior. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> still, still keep your credibility. Exactly. Ah, oh, it's for the wife. Yeah. Hello, oh, buddy. Coming in hot. We need, we're, we're trapped. Dead end. Abort. Abort. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, that was amazing. A good time. Two brand new Dodges, abandoned steel mill, dirt road, 940 horsepower between the two of them. Yeah, you can't complain. A brand new car down a dirt road. <laughs> I love it. Hey, bud, thanks for leaving Malibu and coming to the garden spot that is Fontana, California. Hey, man, no problem. They should let me come beat the crap out of these cars. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. <laughs>